Hello everybody, Tim Crane here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a deal we did uh, a while back. It was, it wasn't one of our first deals, but it was in the first two years of being in business with my brother. And so this was a little house. It was a foreclosure property. It was a little three bedroom, two bath brick home with a basement set on about a qu quarter acre lot with a carport. And so, um, when I first saw the property, of course, I went over and pulled the tax card. The tax card said it was fifty-four thousand bucks. It says with eleven hundred seventy-six square feet, built in nineteen sixty. And the last couple times it sold thirty-nine fifty-two. Here's the time of here where it sold for fourteen, and then for thirty-two, and then I bought it for fifteen. Um, bought it for fifteen. This is the overhead aerial view of the property. Nothing special. Um, the house had a central air unit but it was stolen off of the side of the property when i purchased it and so i've got a friend of mine who works at a uh he owns a air conditioning company here in the area and so i called him up and he said that he would come over he's got some used ones he would put on there i think he charged me 1200 dollars. and so uh we put a central air unit on the side of it for 1200 bucks and there was a little bit of mildew and mold in the basement and so what we did was we they had panel in the basement we took down all the panel replaced it with drywall and then painted the floor and we put mold proof drywall up there mold resistant drywall and so that probably cost us about 1500 bucks to pay the guy and everything else so all together we got about 18 grand in this property um the first time i sold it i sold it to a couple and they gave me twenty five hundred dollars down I sold it for thirty nine nine I think they made payments for about a year and then they uh, stopped making payments and we um, were gonna have them kicked out when I went to serve them the papers they were already gone they just moved out on me and left the key on the table and so I cleaned up the property it was already kind of clean I just swept it up and put it back on the market I put it back on the market for thirty nine nine owner finance. Um, I somebody came and they looked at it and they liked it and they said, "Hey, uh, we want to give you we want to give you twenty five hundred dollars down. Here's a thousand bucks down, and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll give you the other rest of the money." And I said, "Okay, that's great." So they gave me a thousand bucks, and then lo and behold, the next day came and they never came back. And I called them and called them and emailed them and called them and they never called me back. And about a week or two went by and I just said, well, bump them. I'm not going to keep playing with them. It's, they're going to give me a thousand bucks and then disappear. That's fine with me. So they did. And so I put it back on the market again. And then this time I decided to just put it on the market to sell it. And so we put it on the market for $29,900. I ended up getting an offer for twenty two five on it. And I ended up selling it. Um... And so we sold this property, I think all together after the first, you know, the down payment and the year they paid on it. And when we sold it, we ended up making about 8,000 bucks on this property. Not a whole bunch of money. I probably should have held it for a little bit longer because it was a good built property. Um, just the neighborhood wasn't the greatest, but it, you know, people got to have a place to live. And so even in the not so great neighborhoods, people got to live. And so, um, I probably should have kept this one and, you know, did owner finance on it for longer, but I think we just ended up flipping it out, getting rid of it and moving on to a different property. And so that's the deal we did on this one. It was a, you know, decent little deal. We made eight grand on it and that was the deal we did on this one. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. Keep watching for the next one.